Theater has been working hard since October to produce the Lord of the Flies play. A lot goes into putting a play together. An actor's goal is to make their part believable, so we often forget that it takes a lot of time and effort to make their character come to life. I am one of the set designers, but I am also an actor. I play Percival. I am set designer and set construction lead, but I also act in it. I'm the actor Sam. I'm the officer who, uh, who shows up at the end to, to rescue the, the children. Getting off book for the show is very hard. It takes a lot of time. A lot of an actor's job is uh, knowing your blocking and knowing your lines. It's very important that you um, have a mutual trust between castmates and that you're able to do things that maybe you wouldn't be comfortable necessarily doing with other people. One part in the show, whenever somebody has to fall off of the back of a platform and I'm literally there like holding their hand and like holding on to them as they literally like jump off of one platform and <laughs> down onto another one that's lower and they have to trust me not to like let them like actually fall. Actors are the face of the play, but there's so much more to it. Behind the scenes, there's constantly something going on. The technical director, stage manager, set builders, and so many more are involved in the pre-production and production of the play. It's very important in the theater that everybody backstage communicates with one another. Me, Ashley, and AR, all three of us are the set designers. We had to sit down and draw out what we wanted. And so originally we knew that we needed a hill and a mountain and somewhere down at the beach and a monument for Jack. The directors were just like, you can put whatever else you want on here. This is y'all set, you design it, you make it happen. That's when we started to need to build the platforms, make sure they're stable so people don't knock them over and fall. Especially with the set, because there's a lot of trash and stuff, so it's very easy to get stabbed by things that are kind of sharp, so it's a lot, it's a lot of work. Everything was recycled goods, so that came from plastic bags to scrap pieces of wood we had, trash, boxes. Let's just say we bought nothing for this. After seeing the set of this year's production of the Lord of the Flies play, you may have noticed that it's not very traditional. The directors decided to make the theme of this play post-apocalyptic. These kids are not only stranded, but they don't have their cell phones either. Jack he reaches his hand inside of the pig and takes his hand out and there is blood all on his hand. He goes insane. She wanted to go more of a Waterworld approach to it, which if you've seen Waterworld, it's like all of these kids on this like floating island of trash. I think it kind of gives a, a more modern feel to the story. This could possibly be the future and this is what could happen kind of thing, but also like not really because it's very fictional. This idea that no matter what, there's always this risk that this darkness in human nature will come out if we like don't try and control ourselves. This has been Jaden Thompson reporting for Blue Eye News.